Hey guys, welcome back to Explore Electronics. This video is something which I feel really important and I want to share with you all. There are many electronics and related branch graduates, if you see, every year landing in a software company, not in electronics field. This should not happen. If the one who completed electronics or related circuit branch, he should get a job in the relevant field itself. So if you are an electronics or related branch student, get skilled and to be a part of growing VLSI industry. There might be thousand reasons to complain about electronics and related branches. People say there are less opportunities in electronics industry and as well as less placements are going to happen through college and there are less resources also we can say and there are less people to guide. So these are all the reasons we say being an electronics and related branch graduate and end up with landing in a software company. But I will tell you, the things are changing now. Many electronics companies hiring freshers. Why it is happening so? Why the things are getting better and better in AC and in semiconductor field? The reason is, do you know billions of investments are getting poured into semiconductor industry in India? Yes, it is happening. If you see the recent news, the central government is showing in great interest in bringing the investors and making the India as a semiconductor hub. And moreover, many software companies are getting into semiconductor field by acquiring some small VLSI companies now. You can ask check this. There are many software big companies acquiring one and other semiconductor industry and stepping into VLSI field. So you may get a question why they are doing so. Is there any huge requirement comes? Yes. In this digital era, there is a huge requirement for electronic chips. Every automation or everything, any component if you take, it will work on the semiconductor chip itself. But where actually these chips are going to be fabricated till now? We depend on Taiwan, we depend on China, we depend on US and Japan. India is not at all a major contributor in fabrication. So our government is stepping into the semiconductor field and bringing the investors, those who can invest and contribute for the manufacturing of these chips. In VLSI, if you see, there are three major categories or the broad uh, classification we can make. First, we need to design, then we need to develop, and then we need to manufacture. Then the assembly things are going to happen. If you design things, then only you will get a big money. Even designers in any field will get good package. So, designing has to happen first. After designing, we need to manufacture our own components here itself. So, for manufacturing, in semiconductor industry, we need a fabrication unit. That is a big challenge. And a fabrication industry is going to be set up in India. If India has to be the next superpower nation, this is the much requirement. That's why even the central government is showing great interest and the fabrication units are coming into India now. Surely this creates a lot of opportunities for electronic graduates. And also it will create many other jobs also. For this, we need interested students or the graduates from electronics and related branches. They should be gear up and they should show an interest in working in the core field itself. Getting into the core field, as you say, it may be difficult. But if you acquire a knowledge correctly, if you follow certain steps which get into a core domain, it is easy. Surely the demand will rise exponentially. India requires many electronics and related branch graduates from here onwards. Then if you are an electronic student and if you are really interested to work in electronics and related company, what you are supposed to do? You need to follow some steps. From your starting of your engineering or if you are in mid of your engineering, from here onwards, you need to start concentrating on things related to VLSI. The thing is, first you need to be strong in digital electronics. If you are a master in digital electronics or you can manage the things which are comes under logic design, then you need to step into VLSI concepts. You need to study at least one Verilog HDL or VHDL. Then after that, you can go with the system Verilog concepts and all that will be really helpful in design part. And the next thing is that projects what you are going to do in your graduation that should be relevant to the field which you are going to eye at. In VLSI, there are two domains. One is front end and another one is back end. In front end, Verilog, system Verilog, UVM as well as VHDL comes into picture. In back end, 
physical design, circuit design, layout things are comes into picture. So you need to decide while doing the project itself in which domain you are going to proceed your job. Depending on that, you need to choose the project. And there are tools available in your colleges itself now. In your VLSA lab, if you see, you have a front end tool, you have a back end tool. And there are some really important interview questions you need to prepare for. And if you follow that, easily you can get into VLSA industry. So my suggestion is to follow Explore Electronics plus YouTube channel where I am going to upload few videos which are really required to get into industry as a fresher. And also you can follow us on Telegram and WhatsApp so that it will be easy to get connected. And also I will suggest some websites and as well as some materials that really helpful to gain the knowledge. And once you get into the company, being an electronics graduate, you need to pl please tell this to your juniors and make them to work in electronics core domain. Then only we can achieve our semiconductor requirement in India and we grow, finally our country grow. Thank you.